The Upfitter interface module gives you access to the vehicle's CAN data, allowing you to activate or control auxiliary equipment. Using our free graphical user interface, you can custom program your outputs. Okay, we're going to be demoing the Upfitter interface module for the Durango. And what we've done is we've set up a test box to show outputs based off of CAN data. We're going to demo an output signal based off of vehicle speed. We've set this up so that at 22 miles per hour, light one will come on showing an output. And we're going to speed up on this stretch here. 19, 20, 21, 22, there's our signal. I have downloaded the graphical user interface from the Intermotive website. It is available free of charge. And this is how you program an Upfitter interface module. First, what we're going to do is select the model year, say 2018, and select a manufacturer. So in this case, Dodge. We're going to select Durango, which is brand new, just that recently added to the GUI. And then we're going to select an engine, and we'll just say 6.4. Click on Create Configuration, and what you will see here are each of the eight outputs, so each one has a separate tab. Uh, it has some pin modes for momentary latching, time hold, time delay, so you can create some special features. Okay, we're now going to program that very first output that we saw, which was the LED light turning on when vehicle speed exceeded 22 miles per hour. Click on the drop down menu to take me down to vehicle speed, VSS mode. I'm then going to change that to be greater than and I'm going to type in the number 22 for 22 miles per hour. So for in this example we're going to give an output signal if the vehicle is not in park and the seat belt is not buckled. So currently we're in park, seat belt's buckled. If I unbuckle the belt and I shift out of park into reverse, output 3 comes on. We're going to select pin 3. Uh, you can really select any of the 8. I'm going to click on logic A, which says, I'm going to look for driver's seat belt. Scroll down. Driver's seat belt to equal to false, meaning it's not buckled. And because the logic is A or B and C or D and E or F, as it's written down here, we can now select the second piece of criteria, which is transmission range. Transmission range, we're going to say not equal to part. Next, we're going to demonstrate a flashing momentary output. What I'm going to do here is on pin 4, or output 4, we are going to sync an output with our turn signals. So it's on, left turn signal, off, right turn signal. What we're going to do here is we're going to select a new pin. We're going to come down to logic A. We're going to scroll down to turn signals. As you'll see, there's turn signal and then there's turn signal latch. Because we want it to be in sync and to shut off when the OEM turn signal turns off, we're going to first select left turn signal. And we're going to say that the turn signal is on. In this particular logic, we're going to say if the left or the right turn signal is on, so we're going to go A or B, we'll come over to the B logic, scroll down to right turn signal, once again on. What we're going to do in this example is demonstrate having a load, say a light or even a siren on with the transmission not in park, so that's going to give me an output signal. As part of the logic we built, we've built into this is 
this output signal only occurs if the vehicle speed is below 10 miles per hour. And we approach 10 miles an hour, the light goes off. As I drop down below 10 miles per hour, the, the light comes back on, indicating that the load is now active again. So at first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say vehicle speed is VSS is less than 10, so our drop down menu here, less than, type in 10, and we want to say and, so our and logic brings us down to the next line, we have a piece of equipment on, so we have an input from another piece of equipment, and we're going to say input 1, in this particular case, we'll just say it's a ground signal, although the drop down will let us pick power, and we're going to say the vehicle is either in drive, so we're looking at transmission range, vehicle is equal to drive, or the transmission is equal to neutral. For more information, call us at 1-800-969-6080. Thanks for watching.